Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I'm doing another Funko review on the Star Wars 2018 Spring Conventions exclusive Padme Amidala. Now my girlfriend picked up this pop for me the other, the other day and I'm really really pleased with it. Uh, she surprised me with it when we was out and she said I got you this and I was really happy with it. It's the first um, Spring Convention exclusive pop I've managed to pick up. I've got some others on order but I didn't know they was in the shops in the UK yet. For the price of $14.99 you cannot leave it. I'm so glad she picked it up for me. And uh, let's take a closer look at the box as we can see there we got the 2018 Spring Convention exclusive sticker Padme Amidala there. Nice picture of Padme there. On the side there, picture of Padme 237 in the wave. And on the back there, the box is a tiny bit crushed there, which I'm a bit disappointed, but it was the only one left and she did she did make a good decision. I'm really am pleased with it. I'm really grateful. And uh, on the back there, we can see Qui-Gon Jinn, uh, General Grievous, Obi-Wan, young Anakin Skywalker and Padme. I don't have any of the others on here, but I'd like Grievous and Obi-Wan for sure. They're really cool characters. Probably two of my favourite characters, actually. But enough about that. You've got Disney at the bottom down there. Padme Amidala on the side. Padme peeking up at the top. Not much going on at the bottom. Just waste no time and get Padme out of her packaging. So here's Padme out of the box, and on first thoughts, I can see it's a very small Funko Pop. It really is quite tiny, I mean, compared to the others, but I really do like it. I mean, you can tell it's um, Amidala from her really unique outfit. I love this outfit in the film. She looks really nice in it. She looks quite hot in it, actually, to be honest. And, um... I mean, the white is very good because it sort of symbolises the fact that she's Leia's mother and in the future, obviously, Leia's a very big wearer of white in the first um, Star Wars film. So let's take it off the base if you can. Oh, it doesn't feel like you can. I don't want to pull it. Oh. No, we're probably not going to do that. But you can see it comes with that standard nice Star Wars base um, down there. And um, she has a blaster there, which is very real nice. Very well detailed on that blaster. like the um, the scope, everything's been put on that. That's really, really nice. And obviously there you can see where her top has been ripped in the midsection area, exposing her stomach. If we turn her to the side as well, you can see under there's a nice silver cuff around the top of her... Uh, arm there and obviously she's got some pouches there there's a little pack um two little pockets there on the side and then from behind she's got a bun there very similar to the iconic buns that leia wears on the side of her head but this time it's on the back and obviously like i said this um and there's a there's the blaster pistol holder there all in white as well but obviously this pop it does symbol the um it's from the scene in the back of the geonosis where she's captured with anakin and obi-wan and she has to escape and um, then all the jedi come with the clones in the end and defeat the droid army so that's, it, it, I mean the prequels get a hard time but I, I do like that film for what it is I mean I know it's nothing compared to the original Star Wars but I do like the film for what it is but I'm wafting away from this pop um, mine does have seem to have a white scuff mark in between the hair there so if I put it out of the light I don't know if that's supposed to be there I'm not sure but other than that the face is pretty clean with the eyelashes on it ears are pretty clean as well actually compared to some of the Funko Pops I've gotten before normally the hair bleeds onto it but it's very small it's very tiny I don't have anything to hand to actually compare it with and if I get up I'll probably knock the camera but um, yeah anyway this is just a short quick review of this pop I really do like it and for a conventions exclusive I think you've got to pick it up if you're a Star Wars fan and even if you're not for a spring convention exclusive basically Emerald City Comic Con exclusive um, people love those stickers so get it I'm going to keep it in box uh, even though the box is a bit damaged but I'll keep it in my inbox collection because it's got that sticker on it so guys let me know what you think of this pop let me know if you're going to pick it up if you do want to pick it up I said it's available at Forbidden Planet in Croydon so I assume it's available in Forbidden Planet country wide and that was a bit of a mouthful and um, don't forget to hit the like button guys let me know what you think of Padme in the comments below please hit that subscribe button and if you're already subscribed hit that notification bell um, just to be informed of any other Funko videos I do and um, follow me on Twitter and Instagram links in the description below uh, tweet me uh, message me on Instagram whatever you want I will openly talk to you about answer questions talk about pops action figures whatever you like and so guys thanks for watching this review and I'll see you next time have a good one